welcome to our training online program. Once again, I'm Coach Hazel and I'm your coach Curly. Today, I'll be your coach, I'll be your Pilates coach, and you will be my student for the day. So now we'll do a lot of standing workout, a lot of balance workout, mind and body connections, um, strengthening for the upper body, breathing exercise. So stay with us as we do this 30 minutes of workout. So, Coach Curry, are you ready? First warm-up, I want you to warm up your knees first. So, parallel to your feet, feet apart, and then I want you to hold the top of your knee, and then you're just going to make a circle. Circle to one side first. Can you do that for me, please? Inhale to start. Try not to press your arms to your knee. Make it soft. Your shoulders are down. Don't press those for your neck long. And then create a circle. Circle to your right one. And two, and three, and four. Don't rush, reverse. And one, and two, and the other side. Four, five, and pause. This time, we're going to add a spine mobility, or I want you to open your lower back for me. As you do your circle, circle with your right. I want you to round your back, and then back to center. One side. You should feel a good stretch from your lower back. Close for me, try not to strong your shoulders. Shoulders away from your ears. Don't press, not heavy press on your arms on the top of your knees. Inhale. Circle out to one side. Round your back. Don't rush. No rush. Round. Increase your roundness. Good. And one. And two. I want to round from here, not from here. More. Good. Five. And six. And seven. And eight. Round some more. Round some more. Someone's punching on your tummy. And then reverse. And one, and two, and three, and four, and pause, stay there. Float your arms, float your arms. Increase the rounders on your back, head down some more. Good. Vertebrae by vertebrae, thumb in, roll up, 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 and relax. Nicely done. Alright, for our warm-up number two, Coach Kerwin, I want you to stand tall. Good, the tummy is flat, but the chest is softened. Good, very good. I want you to have an internal lift from your spine. So the tummy goes in and then up, but the neck is long. Can you press your head to my palm to grow taller? Perfect. I want you to use your breath as we do this, this next warm-up. Parallel your feet. Inhale, lift the heels off the floor, grow taller, the thumb goes in, cross from the top, and then lower down. Good. Keep going. I want you to use your breath as you lift your body. Good. Inhale up, and then lower down. Flat the thumb, please, more. Inhale, use your breath, the internal lift, and then lower down. If you're going to use your breath, you would easily find your balance. Good. And then as you breathe, expand your lungs to the side, not from the chest. Good. Keep going. Last five. Good. Four more. And three. Good. And two. One last flat. Try not to lean back. And then lower down. We're going to add a progression. From there, keep your, par your feet parallel. Inhale. Lift the heels. Try not to do butt up. Your tailbone reaching the floor. Bend the knee. Drop the heels. And stand. Go. Inhale. Lift. And bend. Drop the heels. And grow tall. Good. Keep going. Inhale. Good. Good. Find your breath, folks. For when keep breathing, the tummy goes in as you inhale, and your lungs goes to the side. Expand the ribs to this side. Good. And from there, I want to see your collarbone. Collarbone narrow. Go. Nice. Last five. Good. And four. Less butt out, please. But the tummy is in. Good. This is an internal workout, guys. Good. You're sending message to your body so that you won't be out of balance. 
mind and body. This is what we call a mind and body connection. Last one. Good. Drop the heels. Stand tall. One last of that. Inhale. Grow tall. The tummy goes in. Press your head to the ceiling. Keep pressing your head to the ceiling and then bend the knees. Find your balance. Keep pressing your head to the ceiling. Drop the heels. And then stand tall. Nice deep breath. Next, stand tall, heels together, toes apart. This is still part of your warm up. I want you to squeeze the heels together, connect your inner thighs this time. And the same, I want you to go grow taller. Press your head to the ceiling, the tummy goes in and up. I like your posture today. I made you warm up so much this morning to be able to do these exercises. Good, left butt out. Good. Inhale, lift the heels off the floor. Keep squeezing your heels and your inner thigh connections. And then look slowly down. Good. Inhale up. Grow even taller. Not from the chest posturing, but from the ribs. Expand the lungs. And then down. Keep going. As he inhales, his ribs go to this side. Good. The tummy goes in. Narrow waistline. Good. As if... Um, someone's pulling some, uh, you're zipping up, you're using your zipper, you zip up, good, actually it's one of our exercises later, keep squeezing the heels together, good, inhale, lower down, last four, good, and three, inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth, two more, supposedly nose to nose, but it's kind of hard, Good, but it's good to strengthen your lungs. One more, heels up, pause. We will progress from there. Can you bend the knees without yeah, pressing your butt to the back? Keep your tailbone down, your knees to the side, drop the heels, and then grow tall, squeeze the heels together. Inner thighs together, inhale, bend the knee, drop the heels. Grow even taller, good, inhale up, Bend the knees, drop the heels, grow tall. Your one line up and bend. Can you bend lower? Yeah. Drop the heels and stand. Keep going as you bend the knees. I want you to turn out your thighs. Good. Last two of that. Inhale, the tummy goes in. Flat tummy more, please. Yeah. Drop the heels and stand. One more. Inhale up. Bend the knees, drop the heels, and grow tall. Nice. Next warm up, I want you to lift the knees. So let's start from one side. Up and down. And up and down. Alright, let's start from your right leg. Stand tall first, but you're still connected while you're doing this. You're not just lifting your leg like that. All right, you need to stay connected. Tommy goes in and up. Find your inter internal connection. Let's start from your right. Can you lift that knee or that leg? Kick it forward. Up. Go ahead and find your range. Good. And slightly turn out your thigh. Good. As you lift, try not to use the top, the front of your leg. I want you to reach from the back of your leg as if someone's pulling the back of your leg away from your hip. Don't use your hip. Use the back of your leg. Brush it out. Good. Without wiggling the upper body. Keep the flat back. Stand tall. Good. Last five. Four more. And three. Brush. Don't just lift. Brush and down. And brush and down. And brush and two. And brush and one. Other side. Good. And go. Up and down. Reach and down. Reach. Good. You should feel a good stretch from here. You will feel it from the butt. Do you feel it from there? Slightly turn out your thighs so you will feel it from your inner thighs. Keep going. Slightly turn out your thighs so you will feel it from your inner thighs. Keep going. Coach Herwin, they have this what we call powerhouse in Pilates. So it is our foundation. That's why it's inner thigh, butt. Not just core, but core and back. Good. Glutes. 
that's what we do here. And then there's a strength discrepancy that I can see here. Try to keep your hips square. Use your abs and back connection. Reach. It doesn't matter if you can cannot lift it that high. If there's tightness somewhere there, just find your stretch. Good. Up and down and up and down. Last one. Up and. Next, from here, I still want you to grow tall, parallel your feet. Good, raise one leg, knee up, and then other side, all right? And then I want you to brush from the back of your hip, not from the front. Can you show it, Coach Curry? Find your balance, go. Right leg up, good, and then other side. Find your balance. Keep going this time, brush. Good. I want you to brush it from the back of your hip, not from the front. Find your balance. And then as you kick your leg forward, I want you to lift the tummy in and up. Good. Spine long. Internal lift from your tummy. And try not to round your back as you kick forward. Good. It doesn't matter if you can't if you can bring it that high, it's fine. As long as you stay connected. Flat tummy and internal lift. Spine lifted as you kick. This time, let's add a little bit of, uh, let's make it faster. And kick, and kick, and kick. Brush it from the back. Brush, and brush, and brush, and balance, and brush, and brush, and brush with your arm. Up position, up, and up, and up, and up. Keep brushing, spine long, spine long. Try not to round your back. Try not to round your back. Good, spine long. Keep pressing your head to the ceiling as you do this. Good. Good. And five. And four. And three. And two. And brush other side and relax. All right, so next we're going to do side to side. Uh, Coach Curry, can you place your hand behind your head? Good. Elbows out a little bit. And then from here, I want you to pull your neck up to the ceiling. Good. From the skull. Yeah. Pull your neck so you will feel the stretch from the back of your head. And then from there, parallel your feet. Find your balance again. Find your internal lift. The tummy goes in and up. And then do side to side. Knee to elbow. Knee to elbow. Go. Good. 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 Try not to crunch the other side. Keep that spine long. Keep the spine long. Good. Keep the tummy flat. Find your balance. As you do this, keep pressing your head to your palm and then pulling your neck. Try not to forward your head. Good. Keep the placement of your head in between your shoulders. Good. Center of your shoulders, not forward. Not backward, not forward. Good. Head back a little bit. Good, keep going. Keep pressing your head to the ceiling. Nice, side to side. Good, 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 and stop. Movement, you will stand tall again. You will place your arms behind your head. And then one foot forward, the other leg is slightly turned out of the back. You will feel it now from your glute connection. Are you with me? Do you feel it from there? Do you feel it from the glute? And then you will lift it up. All right? Lift it up. And then from there, you will not just kick forward, but I want you to brush your leg from the back of your leg. All right? Ready? And go. And brush. Not too wide. Kick. Yeah, kick to your center. Good. Elbows wide. Pull the back of your neck. Can you, do, can you place your eyes face forward? Good. Brush. Brush it up. Brush. And down. And brush. As you brush it up, you can feel a good stretch from here. From the back. Good. Slightly turn out on your thighs so your butt is still connected. connected. Elbows out, not in. Good. And five. And four. And three. And two. One more of that. And then relax. Other side. And then as you kick, try not to round your back. Try not to kick from here. Alright? Other side. 
Ready? I'm sorry. Three, two, and kick. Kick. Kick forward, not to the side. Keep this kick square. This side and this side. Go. Good. Connect your abdominal, abdominal muscle. Don't go for range if you can. It's fine. Go for connection. Good. That's what we want in the life is connection, guys. Connection. Good. He's so tight on the side. Supposed to be, has to be in the center. Good. Kick. Kick squared. Nice. It's so hard for it on this side. Good. And take rope collar. Good. And five. And four. Keep pressing your head to your palm. Look taller. It looks easy, guys, but it, this is so hard. Good. And then release. Good. It's mind and body connection. <laughs> You're sweating. Sweating. Breathing while moving. So it's not just from what you see and when you just copy, you have to feel it from the inside. So just check your range of motion. If you're just here, it's fine. As long as you feel it here. Alright? So it takes practice for you to be able to practice, to do that, the mind and body connection. So our next one is kick the butt. This is a good stretch for your knee. Alright, from here, you will kick here back. But find your range. Flex your foot. Alright? To feel the stretch here. If you can reach it from, if you can reach behind like this, you will also feel it from the hamstring. But the intention of this is to stretch the front of your thigh or your knee. Ready? Facing anywhere, them or there. Ready? Alternating, parallel your feet, coach turning. Again, try not to slouch. I want you to stand tall. Keep your eyes just forward. And kick. Good. And kick. And kick. Keep your foot flat. Especially on your left. Good. You don't have to rush. Coach Doreen, I feel something from his left knee the past days. So, we're trying to fix that. We're doing a lot of Pilates and flexibility and mobility workout. Yeah. Good. Good. So you can see, he's sticking from the toe on his left. If there's a fear that he might feel that, um, what do you call this? That pain on his left knee. Good. Would you feel it from, do you feel the stretch from the front of your knee? Yes. Good job. Good. Last five. Good. And four. And three. And two. One more. All right. We're so warmed up already to our first exercise. We call it zip up. So can you place your heels together, toes apart, toes are one fist away from each other. I want you to think that you're squeezing your inner thighs together. From there, you will feel your glute connection. Am I right? Good. And then your hands are here, fists are together. Watch me first. Like you zip up, you zip your jeans up, and then inhale, and then exhale. As you breathe, as you zip up, imagine you're pulling or you have a weight, you're holding a heavy weight. And then be mindful with the place of placement of your elbows. It should be above your shoulders, but you're not shrugging your shoulder. You will keep on lifting your head. All right, neck long. Ready? Heels together, not too wide. Can you bring your toes on the neck? Yeah. Um, try not to arch that much. Oh, no, 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 no. Stay there. Knee arch of your foot a little bit lifted. Just the knee arch. Just the knee arch. Don't press from the knee arch. You might. Yeah, foot placement is very, very important. No, no, no. Go keep your toes. Stand on the balls of your foot. Lift the knee arch of your foot. Yeah, don't press. Lift. Good. And then stop with that knee. More. More. There you go. Tummy goes in and up. Eyes gaze forward. Please look proud. Good. Nice. Inhale, zip up. Good. Pause from there. Elbows up. Super tight. Shoulders down. 
this is his maximum for now. All right? Because he's fighting with my arm every time I lift this one up. And then he's dragging already. He says, can you move a little bit backwards? You can't, that's your range. Because you might hurt your neck. Good. And then down. As you sit down, try not to just bring it down. But as if someone's pulling. Good. As you zip up, the tummy is flattened. Good. Inhale. Good. Good. Keep doing that, please. From there, I want you to widen your collarbone. Keep moving, please. Widen your scapula at the back. You will feel a good stretch from here. And then lengthen this up. Look up a little bit. Good. Bring it up. Pull a heavy weight. Pull a heavy weight. Stop from here. Pull a heavy weight. Widen your pause, 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 pause up. Widen your scap. Widen, widen more. Collarbone wide, not front. Collarbone wide. Good. And then slowly bring it down because it's heavy, right? Good. Imaginary, imaginary weights. Good. Use your abs. Nice. Give you a good stretch here. Keep lifting that neck. Good. If you were able to do this, you will feel a good release for the moms, for the dads. I know you guys are so stressed out. This is really good for you. Most of us adults, especially for people who are working in the office or in front of the computer, keep going, please. Collarbone wide. As we do this, our tension is always here. That's why we always do this. It's so painful. Boy, this is such a good release. Try not to squeeze the shoulder. Widen that scalp. Widen the scapula. Here and then your collarbone. Scapula, collarbone. Last two. One more of that. Good. And then relax. All right, so our next workout is chest expansion. This is really good for neck, re neck release. Heels together, toes apart, palms down by your side, palms facing to the back. As you bring your hands, Bring your hands a little bit forward and then pass to your body. You're going to press it to the back. Good. As if you're pressing something. Good. Inhale and then press to the back. Tummy lifted as you press. Soften that chest. Good. Inhale. Lift the tummy up. Good. As if your shoulder blades are meeting at the back. Squeeze the shoulder blades at the back. Good. Lift your head up to the ceiling. Neck long. Good. Nice. The tummy goes in. Tummy lifted as you press to the back. Good job. Good. Now we're going to do the um, releasing of the neck tension. Inhale, press to the back. Keep lifting the tummy. Look to your left. Look to your right. Back to your center. And then bring your arms forward. Inhale, press to the back. Look to your left. Look to your right. And then front and center. And press, heavy press. Press the back. Good. Look to your right. Right, right, right. Look to your left. And center. Okay. Look to your right. Keep your arms straight. You're pressing something behind. Good. Look to the other side. And forward. And release. Good. Work. All right, so next exercise, this is shaving. This is really good for those people who have a very tight upper back. Okay, so you're gonna place your hands behind your head. Good. No, 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 you're not gonna, you're not gonna interlace your fingers. So fist close, try to do it this way. Good. For some of you who has a back tightness, it will look like this. Try to do it side. Um, fist away from your head. No, 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 you're not supposed to touch. Yeah. It should be a nice breath, yeah? So you press your head to my palm. Neck long. Soften that chest, please. Ribs in, ribs heavy to the back. Flat tummy. 
Good. From there, your fist should not touch your head. Your fist is away from your head. Keep your eyes gaze forward. Nice. Keep your fist there. And I want you to sheathe the back of your head. Extend your arms up to the ceiling. Good. And then bring your hands against the back without lifting the chest. Elbows out two more. Keep that neck long. Eyes gaze forward, please. Good. Good. Keep your fist behind your head, please. If you can, I'm going to add more challenge, especially for the boys. For the men, they like challenge. As you bend your elbows, can you bring your fist together at the back of your head or your neck? Keep your head long, neck long. I face forward and then shake. Good. Elbows out, please. Inhale. Exhale and extend. Shake. Good. Keep going. Coach Kirsch Kirby doesn't want me to cut his hair. So imagine you just want to shake your head. Okay, he doesn't want me to touch his hair. <laughs> extend. Good. Release this part, please. Awesome. Don't look down, please. I know you're aware your eyes these are. Even if I'm behind. Keep your, keep your feet together. Elbows out. Good. Last one. And relax. Hands down. Where did you feel that? Yeah. Was it good or painful? Good. All right. So that's shaded. All right. So most of our exercises today is standing. By the way, but another option if you have a light weight at home, you can use that as well. It's a little bit of cardio with um, so much balance, so much connection. And for now, I know Coach Curry's upper body is kind of tired already because he has a very tight um, upper back. All right, upper back and pecs or this one, the front. All right, so we're gonna do some stretching. Keep standing, Coach Curry. Can you? Uh, raise your right hand up without lifting the shoulder. Keep that shoulder away from your ear. And then grab that hand from behind. Good. And then can you pull your arm? Go with me. Pull. Pull. Can you move a little bit backward? Backward. Good. Keep this arm extended. Reach straight. Good. If you can, supposedly this is behind your head. Pull, 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 good. And then from there, his palm is there. Oh, I will just kneel. Can you just kneel, Coach Curry? Because they can't see it. Make sure your rib is not popping. So from here, you're like this. Straight arm, straight elbow, pull. Can you feel a good stretch? I want you to keep raising with your palm. And then um, turn your arm, palms facing to the ceiling while reaching. You feel a good stretch from the lower side. Yes. Keep reaching. Hold in five, four, three, two, and release. Other side, we raise this arm up. And then pull again below the elbow if you can. And then pull it to the side. Hold. This is from the scap. Right? Five, four. Your arm is not just like that. It's reaching. It's still working. It's an active stretch, not passive. Good. Here. I'm going to add some more. Like that. Good. And then for me here, you're going to this one out. Keep reaching, please. Good. And as if you want to press the ceiling, you're pushing, you're pushing, or you're pushing a wall. You will feel the stretch all the way here. Yeah? Good. And then can you bring your arms forward? Reach you long, away from your shoulders. So once I'm pulling your arm away from you, you will feel a good stretch here. Here, on my right hand. Keep that arm lifted. Keep it reaching to feel the stretch here. Keep the shoulders down. Bring it down and reach like you're scooping. Go ahead, keep it reaching. It's really a good stretch, guys. If you can, bend that elbows. Keep reaching, keep the elbows lifted. If you can, you can hold the back of your shoulder. 
but not too high. This one is keeping down and reach. It's like down and reach, foot and hold here. Elbow in. You feel the stretch here. Good, even on the side of the neck, right? Hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Keep reaching. It's still working. Active stretch. You're doing your own stretch. 5, 4, 3, 2, and relax. So that's it for today, everyone. And I hope to see you again in time. So we're going to do a lot of progressions. There's still more exercises more basic um, more basic exercises so it depends what kind of posture you have that's the exercises that will be designed for you again happy weekend